What's up guys, it's your boy Alien CX and we are guys got another video for you guys though. Hope you guys do enjoy this video though. This is gonna be my boy, once again, my boy, the one, the top G. Go check out this channel right here, bro. And the original video is gonna be the description if you wanna watch this video. My ugly ass face. And it means a lot to me if you guys can go to the go to the bottom and follow my socials and mostly follow me on Twitch, bro. We're gonna be streaming on Twitch, so follow me on Twitch, bro. We're gonna get directly into this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is by my boy. We're gonna be watching um the untold story of Tupac. I'm gonna give you my own commentary on this. So yeah, let's get this shit started. Let's go. In the world of hip hop, there are only a few figures that have left as profound of an impact as Tupac, a multi-dimensional artist who transcended the boundaries of music, acting, and activism. Among his artistic pursuits, an intriguing and wild crossover almost happened. Tupac was set to audition for the role of Mace Windu in the iconic film Star Wars The Phantom Menace. No fuck no. Imagine Tupac being a f but my boy. I just imagine that would be fucking crazy as hell. You have Tupac with a fucking year. Ring gun being like, I'm about to Jedi this bitch. I don't, I, don't, I don't watch. I don't really watch. I don't really watch Star Wars. So don't worry me too much in the comments, but whatever. During an interview with Rick Clifford, the former engineer of Death Row Records, the label that Tupac was signed to, he shared a glimpse into Tupac's aspirations outside of the world of music. Clifford said that Tupac had been in the lineup for a role in the highly anticipated 1999 film Star Wars The Phantom Menace. According to Clifford, Tupac was a consideration for the character Mace Windu, a role that ultimately went to Samuel L. Jackson. Tupac was planning to meet with George Lucas and others working on the film to audition, but this was all prevented from happening when Tupac's life was tragically cut short in 1996. Rest in peace, Tupac, bro. Legend in the making. Le I don't legend in the making. My boys are dead. Legend forever, bro. Full on, bro. Rap star Tupac Shakur died last night after a brief life in a rough business. He was 25. But Tupac's potential involvement yeah. in Star Wars represents what could have been. The merging of two cultural phenomenons. The legacy of such an influential rapper and the timeless universe of George... My boy really fucking... <laughs> They really fucking animated I'm fucking I'm fucking done. I'm done. Lucas's space adventure. While many of the specifics surrounding Tupac's almost audition for Star Wars remain a mystery, the idea of him portraying a Jedi aligns with the rapper's persona. The Jedi characters, as depicted in the Star Wars saga, embody principles of justice, wisdom, and honor. Attributes that all resonate with Tupac's own sense of social consciousness and his advocacy for marginalized communities. The notion that Tupac, known for his captivating stage presence and powerful lyricism, could have wore the robes of a Jedi in such a classic series is a pretty cool thought. For children and adults around the world, this crossover may have bridged a lot of gaps between the two fandoms, giving hip hop heads and Star Wars fans a common ground. That would have been sick as hell, but I don't know if it would have been accepted. Kind of a lot of time Tupac was popular, it was criticized a lot, like a lot. There's literally fucking videos of my boy in the news stations of them literally trying to just make him look like a bad guy. So I don't even know if it would have been seen in a good way or in a bad way. Maybe like with the younger culture, it looks in a good way. But I don't know about with the older culture in general. Samuel L. Jackson would go on to play the character Mace Windu, and he did a great job. I don't think I've ever heard someone complain about Samuel L. Jackson's acting abilities. But still, the idea of Tupac in that role brings up an exciting what if scenario. Exactly, my boy would have been fucking, my boy would have been lit, cause he was a good actor bro, Tupac was a good fucking actor, based on the movies he did, he was a good actor, so I wonder how he would have done that, cause you know like, one time about Tupac, bro, my boy, he does his shit his own way, so he would have added the own Tupac flow to that shit bro, you already know that shit already. That can captivate the imagination of his fans. Although Tupac's tragic death may have deprived the world of his evolving talents, he left behind a legacy of impactful music, thought-provoking social commentary, and also the endless possibility of roles that he could have portrayed. This topic also reflects the dynamic and evolving nature of the entertainment industry, where artists from different mediums are drawn to each other's spaces of- I remember this shit from fucking, um, I'm power, bro. Fucking shout out to fucking Kanye West. That's Kanye West. Shout out to Kendrick, bro. Legend, bro. Creativity. Although he's mostly known for his rapping, Tupac was no stranger to the world of cinema, as he acted in more than several movies during yeah, his did. lifetime. 
The idea of Tupac's iconic persona mixing with the popular Star Wars universe paints a picture of what might have been, the portrayal of a Jedi by an artist who was, in many ways, a modern day warrior for justice, through his music and activism. As we reflect on Tupac's influence, his almost audition for Star Wars stands as another reminder of the creative potential that was tragically cut short. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Shout out to my boy too. Hit him with a follow in the description. Thank you guys for watching this though. It means a lot though. Feel free to please come join us on Twitch, bro, when we live. And also one more thing, bro. Join my Discord in the description, bro. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching this, bro. It's me, your boy, Alien CX. Peace the fudge out. If you have any other video you guys want me to do on any person else, all you gotta do is leave it in the description, bro. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Send me the video and we'll do a, we'll do a reaction to it and commentary to it. Thank you guys for watching this, bro. It's been your boy Alien CX. Peace the fudge out. I'm out.